So today we will talk about the role of macular densa in the auto-regulation of uh, glomerular filtration rate. Glomerular filtration rate changes with the change in the arterial pressure. When the arterial pressure is decreased, this result in decrease in glomerular filtration rate. But kidney should maintain the glomerular filtration rate because it can lead to harmful consequences if glomerular filtration rate is low. So how kidney does this job? First of all, when the arterial pressure is decreased, this result in decreased glomerular hydrostatic pressure. When the hydrostatic pressure within the glomerulus is reduced, we know that there is decrease in the filtration from glomerulus into Bowman's capsule and this will ultimately lead to decrease in the GFR. Now when the GFR is decreased, the flow within the nephron is slowed, which means that the fluid will move very slowly within the nephron and uh, this will allow nephron to reabsorb more and more sodium and chloride mainly at the level of ascending loop of Henle and as a result of this what really happens there is decreased delivery of sodium and the chloride to the distal convoluted tubular cells now within the distal convoluted tubular cells we have specialized cells which are known as macula densa so these are specialized uh, distal convoluted tubular cells which senses the amount of sodium and chloride within the nephron mainly at the level of distal convoluted tubule so as we said earlier when the gfr is decreased there is decrease in the flow of fluid or filtrate which is present within the nephron and this will allow ascending loop of henle to reabsorb sodium and chloride more and more and as a result of this the delivery of sodium and chloride to the macula densa is reduced or the delivery of sodium and chloride to distal part of nephron to the distal convoluted tubule is low. Now macula densa is very specialized cell which will maintain the delivery of sodium and chloride to the distal convoluted tubule or in short we can say the macula densa will automatically sense that the delivery of sodium and chloride is low to me which means the body has low GFR, the kidney has low GFR. So it will try to maintain GFR. Now first what will happen, macula densa will decrease the afferent arteriolar resistance. Now what will be the consequence of decrease in afferent arteriolar resistance? We know that the blood flow to the glomerulus enters from afferent arterioles. So if you will decrease the resistance in the afferent arteriole, the blood flow to the glomerulus is increased. And this increase in the blood flow will generate more hydrostatic pressure within the glomerulus and this will result in increase in the GFR. So this is the first mechanism by which macula densa will cause increase in the GFR when the arterial pressure is low. The second mechanism is that macula densa will cause juxta glomerular cells to release renin. Now renin is an important protein enzyme. By enzyme we mean that it will convert one substance into another. It will accelerate the process of conversion of a, a substance from one form to another. So renin will act onto its substrate which is known as angiotensinogen and angiotensinogen in turn is converted into angiotensin 1. Okay, so when the renin is acted on the angiotensinogen, it will be converted into angiotensin 1. And angiotensin 1 is then converted into angiotensin 2 via an enzyme known as angiotensin converting enzyme. And the role of this enzyme is to constrict efferent arteriole. By constricting the efferent arteriole, it increases the resistance of that arteriole. So in short, macula densa will increase the efferent arteriolar resistance and what will be the consequence? The blood flow from glomerulus cannot exit. When it cannot exit, it will stay within the glomerulus and this will generate hydrostatic pressure and it will cause increase in the GFR. Automatic uh, representation of uh, juxtaglomerular apparatus. So here we can see this is the glomerular epithelium and this is the Bowman's capsule. Okay. Here we can see the macula densa which are the specialized cells within the distal convoluted tubules. If we look closely, macula densa are in contact with afferent arterioles as well as efferent arterioles. So when the arterial pressure is low and there is decreased sodium chloride delivery to the juxta glomerular apparatus or in short to the macula densa, macula densa will decrease the resistance of afferent arterioles in order to increase the blood flow to the glomerulus and it will block the exit pathway which is the efferent arteriole via constricting it with the angiotensin 2. How? The macula densa will produce renin and renin will ultimately lead to production of angiotensin 2 which will constrict efferent arteriole. So when you constrict the efferent arteriole and dilate the efferent arteriole, the blood flow will be retained within the glomerulus. So the glomerular hydrostatic pressure will be increased and this would result in increase in GFR.